بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته In the video we will try to explain how to extract the mean and SD from graphs using web digitizer uh, Some graphs uh, use uh, these lines to show to show the, the SD or the SE SE is for standard error and SD for standard deviation um, We determine according to the manuscript and uh, in this manuscript they they said that this line refers to the SE, so we will extract the DSE, then convert it into SD. We'll use a bar plot because we don't need to align the, the X axis because it's clear that this is opposite to the second week and this for sixth week, etc. So we will only align the Y axis. And we add data sets according to how many lines we have here. So we need another two data sets. The first one is placebo. The second is naproxene. Proxen. For explanation, we will just use one point and uh, to explain how to extract the mean and SE, then convert it into uh, SD, and you can apply it for all the points, but to minimize the the length of the video we will just apply it on only one point so we will choose the sixth week for placebo we can assign either the upper point or the lower point uh, it doesn't matter To explain what this line represents, uh, for SE or SD, SD represents the difference or the length of these lines, and the mean is just at the middle of this line, so it doesn't matter if you use the, the upper point or the lower point, uh, you can just uh, you can just assign only one point, and you by calculations you can just calculate the the SD or SE. As you can see here, two points for for each dataset. The first point is the mean, and the second point is the upper value. And we will calculate the SE. Or the upper value minus the the mean and we do this for all the points now we get the mean and the standard error and now we can convert it to standard deviation Using this Excel file, we can convert the standard error into standard deviation or the confidence interval into standard deviation. We should paste the values only here. 
A number of participants represent the sample size of each group, uh, and you can easily uh, and you can easily copy it from the manuscript. So let's assume it's thirty. After we write it, the standard deviation will be will be displayed. So we copy it, and then we paste the value. Standard deviation. And that's it. Now we have the mean and the standard deviation. And now our data is useful for analysis and can be used in extraction. If you want this Excel file, you can message me or send me an email through the email written in the description. Thank you.